Michigan takes on Wisconsin Saturday. After suffering its second loss of the season, Michigan tumbled in national power rankings again. Here's where the Wolverines stand, Michigan jumped one spot to no. 5 in ESPN's power rankings, Ignis Brastakis helped the Wolverines bounce back from their loss on Friday to Iowa, going for 23 points, his highest point total since early December against Northwestern, Jeff Borzella writes. The freshman from Canada has been consistent despite Michigan's offensive struggles with the exception of one game, a zero-point effort against Wisconsin in the Wolverines' first loss. The revenge game comes Saturday, UM opponents in rankings, UNC at no. 7, Michigan State at number 10 and Purdue at number 14 Michigan fell three spots in Sports Illustrated's power rankings to number 7, UM opponents in rankings, UNC at no. 8, Villanova at no. 10, Michigan State at number 11, Purdue at number 15, Wisconsin at number 17 and Iowa at no. 21 Michigan dropped one spot to number 6 in this week's NBC Sports Power Rankings. Michigan is the obvious one, Rob Doster writes. They lost on the road to a team that has beaten everyone expect Michigan State and Wisconsin at home. That includes Iowa State, who they beat by 14 points. That happened on a night where Michigan got a tough whistle and had all of their bigs on the bench as Ryan Kreiner and Luca Garza just absolutely worked them over. Things like that happen in league play, to every team. There's a reason it's so rare to go undefeated through a power conference season, UM opponents in rankings, Michigan State at no. 7, North Carolina at number 8, Villanova at number 11, Purdue at number 15, Wisconsin at number 18 and Iowa at no. 25 in the NCAA, comms power rankings, the Wolverines dropped four spots to no. 11, the Wolverines got handled at Iowa. Andy Katz writes, and that is why they drop, UM opponents in rankings, Villanova at number 7, Michigan State at no. 8, Purdue at no. 9, UNC at number 13, Wisconsin at number 15, Iowa at number 23, Maryland at number 27 and Minnesota at number 28 UM fell one spot to no. 6 in the busting brackets power rankings, another one of the Big Ten favorites, Michigan also suffered a disappointing loss during this past week, Lucas Harkins writes. And while losing Iowa on the road, on the surface, is nothing to be ashamed of, the Wolverines struggled more in that matchup than many were expecting, especially on the offensive end. From an efficiency standpoint, Michigan still owns the best defense in the country but their offense has dropped all the way down to no. 42, but even though Michigan has slid a bit as of late, it is not time to panic. The Wolverines have still only lost two games all year and both of them came on the road against teams ranked in the Ken Palm Top 25. Hard to really complain about that really, especially when you consider they also won 12 wins over the Ken Palm Top 100, including those over Villanova, North Carolina, and Purdue. Michigan is absolutely still in the running to land a no. One seed in the big dance and they could be poised for a deep run. In order to make that happen, though, the Wolverines will need to improve on the offensive end, especially when it comes to getting to the free-throw line and capitalizing on those opportunities, UM opponents in rankings, Michigan State at no. 7, UNC at number 10, Villanova at number 11, Purdue at number 15 and Wisconsin at no. 20, talk about this article inside the fort subscribe to our podcast on iTunes learn more about our print and digital publication The Wolverine follow us on Twitter at the Wolverine Meg at BSB underscore Wolverine at JB underscore Wolverine at Austin Fox 42 at Ballas Wolverine at Drew Chalet and at QB9 Adam like us on Facebook